Joe Slow with more crypto games. What's going on, guys? In today's video, we're going to do a deep dive into Zen NFTs and how not to get scammed, some tips and tricks, and also how to value NFTs to see if it's a good bargain. So, first and foremost, if you're new to the Zen ecosystem, I encourage you to join the Telegrams. There's several of them. I'll post a few down below. Um, do not post price speculation and be a moon boy because you will get banned if you do that. So first and foremost, what is a Zen NFT? A Zen NFT is a claim on coins in the future. So you basically pay some gas, you get a Zen NFT, and after a specified number of days, you collect some coins. The longer you're willing to wait, the more coins you get. You're trading time for money. So now... The most important thing about Zen NFTs is, number one, uh, make sure that you are on Zen.network, okay? Up here, Zen.network, and you click on Zen NFT, okay? Number two, Zen NFTs support multiple chains. Different chains cost different amounts of money to mint. All right, we got that out of the way. But the number one most important thing is, to make sure, and this is to avoid getting scammed, make sure you have official contracts. People will put fake NFTs out there and try to trick you into buying something that has no claims on coins. And I'll show you how to verify that later in the video. So if you go over to zensource.getbook.io, it is an exceptional resource for contracts and other things Zen. So as an example, I'm down here on chain info. I click on Ethereum, okay? I see contract address, that's the actual token. And then I see the Zen Torrent address. These are different contracts. The Zen Torrent is the NFT. So if I simply copy this, okay? And then I go over here to OpenSea and I paste in that address, oops you'll see that the first thing that comes up, Zen NFT by Zen Crypto, okay? I click on that, and I know that I am on the official Ethereum contract. And some other flags you can look for would be like the volume, number of owners, percent unique owners, and then you have all your NFTs. All right, so we've established how to get to the proper collections on OpenSea. The next thing that you can do to check to see if you bought a valid NFT is to actually go over to zen.network, okay? Switch to your desired chain, okay? And your Zen NFTs should show up here, okay? And see how it says my token count. If the Zen NFT does not show up on the Zen network, guess what? You've been scammed. You just bought a scam NFT, okay? So we've established how to get to OpenSea, we've established a secondary check, and we've established that Zenpedia is a great place to verify contracts and things like that. So the next thing you wanna do, and a common question would be, how do I find, if I don't wanna mint and gas is high, like on ETH, okay, how can I find Zen NFTs or specific Zen, NFT, Zen NFTs, okay? And you do that by coming over here down and using these traits in order to filter out what you want to buy. So if I know I want to get a Zenturion, okay, because there's three types of NFTs, Collector, Apex, and Limited, we know that it's a Collector, okay? Class, we know that 128 VMU on ETH is a Zenturion, okay? And then we go up to status, buy now, or you could troll with offers. And then we sort from low to high. And then we can see that this Zen NFT is 0.535. So let's say, let's check CoinGecko. ETH is 2100, okay? So 0.53. 5 times 2100 
It's eleven hundred twenty-three dollars. So you have to decide: Do you want to pay a premium to scoop this up, or do you want to try to mint? Okay. So it's the weekend, and like I said, if you're lucky, let's go over to Ninja, and you're trolling ETH gas, right? Go to ETH gas. It's twenty-six GUI right now. Okay. So if I go over to my Zen Crypto, let's go where I got a little ETH action, okay. Mint Zen NFT, I hit max, collector, and we can see how much it's gonna cost. It's probably gonna be really expensive. It's gonna be $9,400. No, oh wait, I'm sorry. Let's do a market. So a market buy is $1,300. So in actuality, we verify, well, now it's $1,400. So the Zen NFT on OpenSea is cheaper. But remember, we're hoping gas dips. So let's, like I said, we let's do 0.3. And then we'll go down to 17.1. Save that as default. And this is a this is a bug. You have to exit out of the transaction after you set it. Reinitialize the transaction. $928. So if I wanted to risk mint, minting, okay, it would be $928. It'd be about $200 cheaper than buying one off OpenSea. So basically there's three scenarios. Try to mint at a lower GUI and hope it dips late at night between two and four o'clock. Okay. Number one, number two, buy it off OpenSea. Or number three, mint at market price. We saw that market price was about $1,300. Now, the question that a lot of people ask, how do I know if it's profitable? So this goes back into not getting scammed, okay? A very important thing is when you buy NFTs, you want to make sure you're not buying one that has been already redeemed. I'm pretty sure this thing will have a slapped redeem across it. So what you want to do is you want to look at the maturity date. So think of this as like a certificate of deposit. Okay. It doesn't mature until July 7th, 2024. Okay. But I'm going to show you a trick. What is the potential dashboard money of this? We can easily find that out. Okay. So we see it's 117 VMU, 450 days, July 7th. I can simply click on the owner. And I know what the torrent number is, 32724. 32724, remember that. Come over here, copy his ETH address, okay? And then go to, let's see, Zen Turbo. Okay. Click on Zen NFTs recommend. Click on search, quick search. Paste the owner's address, okay? Hit search. And what Zen Turbo does on Zen NFT is it will show all of the NFTs that that owner owns. Okay. So we said 37, 32724. Okay. All right. So we can see that the estimated Zen right now is 2,674 with a market price of 13,000. That means. In 448 days, let's say that was 448 days later, this would be worth $13,000 at an earning ratio of 1,000%, okay? And then it shows what the estimated cost of the Zen is, and then you could purchase it. You can actually do a link through, and this will take you to OpenSea. And then see how it says not redeemed? So key points here is you want to look for good earnings ratio, you want to look for ones that are not redeemed. And then the risk in this is if you buy this now, is you know, is Zen in 448 days gonna be gonna be at that price? You know, is it gonna be worth thirteen thousand thirteen thousand dollars? Okay. So I know that was a lot to take in, okay? Is if you're trolling for NFTs that have value and you're going into the future, you probably want to look for an earnings rate of 50 to 100% at a minimum in order to make it profitable.
Okay, so now that we've covered how not to get scammed, how to verify, how to make sure you get the right collection, how to test NFTs to see if they're profitable, let's talk about where you should be putting your efforts. So if you go over to Zen.pub and look at the Zen NFT dashboard, you can see the economic activity, okay? So if I go down here to collector Zen NFTs, I can see the total number of NFTs that are out there in Mint. So why is this a, why is this a good metric? This is a good metric because you can take how many is in Cherions or Sapphires or whatever you have and divide it by a number, okay? And then you can get a percentage to see if you're keeping up with inflation. Uh, plus, the Zen.pub, this is good because it kind of shows you economic activity, okay? To see where a lot of people are, you know, they're, you, they're, they're basically, there's activity. So you can see, let's see, 21. This is why I said that Binance was a no-brainer because there's not a lot of activity over here. So it's really easy to get a whale position in Binance versus some of these other chains. Obviously, Ethereum is going to be the most competitive. Polygon, you know, is pretty competitive too. So one of the things you want to look for also, as a last check, is you want to watch liquidity, okay? And this is what I was saying the other day. I was saying that looks like Polygon is possibly the next to pump, okay? So this liquidity the other day was about 60,000, okay? So you can see Polygon's liquidity is building, okay? Because if you go to uh, BZEN, and look at Binance Smart Chain. So liquidity on BNB is lagging behind. It's still building. It's just not building as fast. This is V3. So you got to reset here because a lot of people are dumping the V2 pool to go to the 1% pool. So this has 25,000 in liquidity. Polygon has 80,000 in liquidity. And then if we go to the main Zen pool, okay, there's 2.65 million plus there's a WETH pool plus there's the USDC pool. So there's three or four million. So Zen was having a hard time with liquidity. It was down to like 100,000 and then DXN came out and basically the liquidity started to move. So, and then the other thing you wanna keep your eye on is market cap, okay? Which is important. Total market cap is 45 million. So, I mean, this just goes back to why you wanna be in Zen. And that is at a minimum, this will be a billion dollar market cap before you know it. That's just a no brainer, even though there's all these coins out there. So, so hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was long and it was a lot of information, but if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability, but just make sure you stay safe out there. Don't buy redeemed NFTs. Make sure you're on the proper collections. I encourage you to bookmark them. And then if you're buying, nfts that are maturing in the near future make sure that they're profitable by using zen turbo to do a check on profitability so with that being said like subscribe and as always this is crypto slow if you're not talking gains then we're not talking